Why do people put L.A. down? Everybody's always ragging on L.A. They always say that it's like the, the Walking Dead. You know, they always compare it to like the, the zombie land, you know, like there's a bunch of zombies out here. People are these mindless, um, you know, L.A. people. I think that just about everywhere. I think everybody looks like a zombie, no matter what city they live in. So that's me. <laughs> but you, you know, I, the reason I say that is because I read something the other day where somebody, you know, you get on the, there's always the sour puss on the, on the, in the comments on yeah. Facebook, Facebook um, groups and whatnot. And I'm in some about LA and one person was saying, it reminds me of the walking dead. And I'm like, now why would somebody say that? Yeah, and is that a bad thing? I'm not sure. Because people The Walking wanted... Dead is a huge, successful show. So if you're saying someone looks like The Walking Dead, is that bad? It doesn't even seem like a good is that There's people that are out here that are trying to get you. You know what I mean? Like they're trying to, they're coming out. And... Nobody cares about you. <laughs> That's what the town's about. Yeah. Nobody cares. But yeah. I'm actually really excited about this because I loved The Walking Dead. I kind of fell off a little. It kind of got a little samey toward the end, but it kind of rallied. It did some cool stuff. And I actually loved Negan. I love Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I, I don't care what he did. Yeah, I mean, I cared, but he was a huge, he was a great addition to the show. But yeah, since The Walking Dead ended, they have done spinoffs. They've done spinoff for all the favorite characters. We did Dead City for Negan and Maggie. We did Daryl Dixon for Daryl Dixon. That was a kind of fun one. It was in France. That was cool. <laughs> but the one we've been waiting for, the one we want to see is this one. The ones who live, which is Rick and Michonne, because right. Rick left the show years before it ended. And he was yeah. supposed to be doing a movie and they were going to do a spin. And it just took forever. Nothing really happened. And then when the show ended, they finally said, now we're doing it. So we've waited a long time to see Rick and Michonne together again. I'm really, yeah. and they, she was looking for him. She, during the last season of the show, she didn't believe he was dead. Everyone assumed he was dead because they had that big fake out. Right. <laughs> They had the big fake out ending where he's being attacked by zombies and get picked up by a helicopter. Everybody's like, yeah, a helicopter. What? So it was very yeah. surreal. So everyone figured he died because they didn't see that. So, but she keeps seeing hints and clues. Like she's kind of like, I don't know. I think so by the end of walking dead, she decides to go on a pilgrimage. She's going to see if she can find Rick. That's how it ended. And so now we have this. Well, Rick was, was very the, excited. Rick was the, oh, he was the heart. The, the first one. He was like the first guy in the very first beginning. Guy. I mean, if I think, Maybe before a lot of our listeners were born, when the show started, um, it was it was about Rick. It was like yep. it was Rick's story. He he's the it one that like, twenty eight days later he wakes up in the hospital. Yeah, and um, it was it's kind of a um, it's kind of strange because some of the other characters became more popular than him, and he he sort of became part of the ensemble as it went on. Right. They had a lot of strong, they had good ensemble cast and that, that was part of it, you know, but he was, he was the way in. He was on all the posters by himself for the first few seasons. It was all about him. It was mostly his story, you know? Um, so when he, he left the show, I feel like a big chunk of the, of the show went with him because it sort of lost its heart, even though he was yeah. still part of the ensemble. When he left, there was sort of an emotional core. I feel like the show was missing at that point. They kept trying, they kept and trying to amp up, you know, amp up the angst and these characters and, a lot of crying carrying on, but it, it wasn't the same as like having this incredible actor, Andrew Lincoln in there and just really being the heart of the show. And he is. So I am dying to see if, how this is going to work because having just him as the center of the show with Michonne, that could be absolutely amazing. I think. Well, they're <laughs> so, both really cool actors and, and really also cool. And I love them together. And uh, the backstories mm -hmm. of the characters, you know, there's a lot to mine from and things exactly. they've been through together. And mm -hmm. so, one thing I want to mention really quick, a movie I, I really love, an old an old film that some people make fun of. It's kind of a goofy old um, science fiction movie that uh, the creators of The Walking Dead uh, say inspired um, the movie. It also, I think, inspired Danny Boyle to, to do 28 Days Later, where Cillian Murphy wakes up in a hospital and the world's been taken over by zombies, like the way... Um, Rick wakes up in a hospital to find the world has been overtaken by zombies. There's a movie called Day of the Triffids, which is not as bad as it sounds. It's about these, you know, plants that take over. It's not zombies, but people become zombie-like in the film okay. because there's a meteor shower 
that people all look at and some aspect of the light in the meteors makes everybody blind. Oh, so interesting. One guy was in the hospital and he was, had eye surgery, so his eyes were covered up. So he's one of the mm -hmm. only people who can see. And meanwhile, there's these plants that can move around and the plants are walking around and squirting poison on people. It's a very oh, cool yeah. movie. Yeah. But it has a vibe of of a zombie film. See that right? yeah. the waste, the world goes to hell, and and uh, there's people walking <laughs> around like this, you know. And I watched it recently, and I, it was like, you know what? That's it has the feel of Walking Dead, and the guy is kind of mm -hmm. like Rick. He's like taking charge, and yeah, and it's a Looking it's up a, in the hospital, like everyone yeah, like else. Zombie movie. Like, what's going on? What happened? And he <laughs> walks happening? around and he sees yeah. things, but he doesn't know what's going on. He has to go out into the street. And look around. Like it. it's, it's a good it's, artifice because you're yeah. out of it. And then when you wake up, you're kind of in a secure area. So you can wake up and kind of go, huh? And then when you walk out, you see what's happened. So it's kind of the perfect setup for something like yeah. this, like coming awake and seeing it. But and the beginning of Walking Dead did it really well because he wakes up and there's like, mm. he, he sees evidence that something terrible happened yeah. while he was away you know while he was unconscious right. so and he's it the sheriff that, so he's not just goober like he's like a guy who knows how to think on his feet because he's you know and he's prepared yeah. to act because he's What's that guy thing? it started out with him being smart and i always like that when yeah. people in movies or yeah. especially horror films where there's a threat people don't mm -hmm. do the stupid thing like you know let's separate yeah. i'll go that way right where the threat is and you go this way and right. it, it's like people being smart and that's the way it, the show started people being smart and I felt like I kind of lost it for Walking Dead when it started to get into the zone of people not being smart. I know. I agree. I agree. And that's why Rick was so heavily missed because they yeah. he, they lost a lot of the smart people. <laughs> they had the grab All the right. top. <laughs> I know. Exactly. The only thing that held together me was Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who kind of understood the assignment and had kind of a weird sort of wink sense of humor about it. He just always does. So he was uh, great. So All right. So let's take a look at this. Okay. We All ready? right. Yep. And ah. I'm getting home. I have to find Ariel Quinn. What? Yeah. What? Okay. I love him. <sighs> oh, it's so good to see his face. <laughs> what a great song. Okay. I lost. So got the sword. I love it. Now I liked her armor and everything. Very Japanese. Helicopters. <laughs> Still does it. I have to keep That's trying. a great thing. I won't stop. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting home. I love the little drawing. <laughs> it's been so long. Your phone, you know what it says? The Japanese believe a little bit longer. This is the most powerful military on the planet. Why do you even think I'm going to go along with all of this? <laughs> because everything will change. I love Terry O'Quinn. He's so good. Yeah. Uh oh. Shit. What's that? We are the well, last one in the new city. The world. Yeah. You have to know that. This is not the answer. It must end. This is an everything! You don't get to choose for the world. Nice. You don't get to choose for me. This is all I have left. This is all you have left to. <laughs> She's not gone. There has to be a sacrifice. This broken world shall put together. We couldn't do anything. Burn it all again. Wow. Now, something interesting I noticed in the trailer is they don't show them in the same scene together. That worries me a little bit. Please don't let them be apart too long. They no, didn't. They are, to yeah, together. they suggest that they're talking to each other, but it's just cutaways. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice that. I like, that. too, <laughs> where they have a drawing, like look kind of like a Japanese ink drawing on a phone or something, which yeah. is interesting. And then, because really, throughout The Walking Dead, there are no photo, you know, you can't do photos. You can't How do you charge you know, your phone? Yeah. Well, there are no phones. You can't even, like, develop any photos. Like, yeah. where are the cameras in the film? So I think that's interesting. Is he, he wouldn't really have any photos of her. Where did he get photos? So they kind of did drawings of each other. <laughs> looks so like. What was the drawing on? 
it looked like a phone at that point. It looks like we're now modern day and they're in a city and things are working. That's the other freaky thing about this. Is but he just some, never took a picture of her with his phone. If he, he didn't power. have a phone. I mean, oh. when the show ended, when he left, there were no phones. Like at right. the end of the show. Now it looks like we're in some sort of developed city where there's actually some technology that we're using and the phones work, which is very weird. This is a whole new world of walking dead. It looks like. So, but when walking right. dead started, I mean, when the, the idea that the, that the, the, uh, the plague or whatever it was happened yeah. at the very beginning. Did were there was there any such thing as I smartphones? Don't think so I think I we don't were think there was. Smartphones. We were still on just flip barely, phones. maybe like flip phones and shit. I mean, I don't yeah. know. That's a good point. Somebody in the comments who knows more about history. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell us when Walking Dead started. Like, what's the photo situation? The smartphone situation? We're not really sure, but I don't remember them ever having phones to use like that. No, but, I mean we came in pretty hot, like. Pretty much when the zombie thing happened, there would not be any cellular nothing. I mean, you would not be talking about phone. technology. It's like it's, it's like you know, Apple is not continuing to manufacture new new products during yeah. this. So yeah. who knows? I mean, maybe it's something else. Maybe there's some other explanation for that. But yeah, maybe it does seem like they got it from somewhere. Like somebody's sending it some message because she says it's Japanese, and you know what that means. Like maybe there's someone in Japan who's sending message i don't know i just see it seemed kind of like odd be involved with that odd. well she has a sort of that japanese you know sensibility Doesn't because she's got yeah. the she's always had that like the kantara and the cool she looks like she has that cool um setup with the samurai the vibe oh, so yeah cool. yeah she got the samurai got vibe, the so. samurai i love her armor it's so <laughs> good yeah <laughs> it's really good but i'm very excited about this i loved seeing rick again loved i, I missed his accent <laughs> It's great. He does. He's British, but he does a really good yeah. Southern accent. <laughs> really right. hard to do. <laughs> but one thing, and, uh, thing to me is that, that I always missed about the original show and got kind of bored with was the fact yeah. that they were just running around in this Georgia forest. Same was, forest. The yeah. same pine trees and the same kind of old sheds and shacks and and old abandoned places in the middle of the forest kind of stuff where, yeah. you know, I know that was because of their budget and their restrictions as far as how they filmed the show and where they filmed the show. Yeah. But now it looks like they're, you know, the, there's enough of a following enough of a budget where they can like, you know, let's set it in a city. And yeah. cause I always wondered why not go to a city? You'd be, you could, you could figure out ways to detect them coming, you know, and see them from a distance and all these different things rather than yeah. being in a forest where there's big trees they can hide behind and they can pop out from behind us like they did well, all the time. I look at it, the zombies aren't even the problem anymore. And I think right. that was what the show ended up doing is that when you go to the big cities, you deal with people who are more people. organized, like, you know, organized military-esque, you know, militias that rule the cities and you'll never get in. Yeah. As we know, every time they went to a city that was being populated or controlled, it was insane and they ended up ruining everything and everything blew up. <laughs> <laughs> happened yeah. every time kind of but it looks like leader that was running everything and exactly so with this new with these spinoffs we had dead city with negan and maggie it was new york we had daryl in france and uh, paris and uh, uh, other areas and then now we have rick who looks like he's in where was that philadelphia was philly like houston or something or, yeah something oh, wow. like that yeah Didn't so that's like, very cool so they've yeah. come a long way. So Michonne actually has to do quite a pilgrimage to get there. If that's where he is, I'm not totally sure. But if anybody knows what that skyline is, please put in the comments. <laughs> I'm yeah. not good at this. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. Let us know what you think of The Walking Dead. Have you, did you watch the Daryl Dixon in the Dead City? Did you like those shows? What did you think of them? And are you excited about this one? Have you stayed with it the whole time? Are you a Walking Dead completist? Yes. I'm a completist. I caught up. I stopped for oh, you a did. season or two, but I did finish it. So I know it happened. I'm yeah. missing big chunks, but this one actually looks like, mm -hmm. oh, this is, this is sort of like what I wanted to see. Right up. Or like, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to see something totally new. I, I like it because these are so separate that you don't necessarily have to know the full history of what happened in The Walking Dead to appreciate what's happening in these new worlds. And that's why I think it's really smart to do it this way. Right. Yeah. All right, you guys. Hopefully. Bye. <laughs>